Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Fanya's class. Today in science lesson, we are going to learn about flowering plant and non-flowering plants. Alright, let me start. How can we classify plants? Like animals, plants can be classified into different groups based on their common characteristics. We can classify plants as flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Alright, let's learn about flowering plants. Flowering plants are plants which produce flowers and seeds in order to reproduce. Flowering plants have four main parts, namely root, stem, leaf, and flowers. Its part has its own function. Rose, hibiscus, sunflower, mango, banana, and papaya are flowering plants. All right. Now, let's learn about non-flowering plants. Non-flowering plants are plants which do not produce flowers and fruit. They reproduce with spores. Fern and mosses are non-flowering plants. Alright, now let's learn about parts of a flowering plant. What are parts of a flowering plant? Flowering plant have four main parts. Leaf, flower, root, and stem. Each part has its own function. Let's talk about them one by one. All right, leaf. The function of the leaf is capture light to make food for the plant. Leaf come in different sizes, shapes, colors, and textures. Next, flowers. The flower is where seeds are produced. A flower consists of four basic parts which are petals, sepals, stamens, and pestle. Alright. Next, root. Roots hold the plant in the ground, take in water and mineral salt from the soil. You can see in the picture. Alright. Next, stems. The stem transport water and mineral from the root to the leaf and transport food around the plant. Stem can be woody or hard stem or non-woody, soft stem. Alright, woody stem. Example of plant with woody stems are mango, guava, cassia. Next, non-woody stems. Example of plant with non-woody stems are corn, banana, and cacti. Alright, that's all for today everyone. I hope you can understand about our lesson today. Thank you so much. See you.